Now this board game, I've done it in my classroom with my students and it's super exciting to get my students involved with this board game. To begin with, all we need is an art block, which I have it here with me, all right? Now what we want to do here is we want to make around 30 boxes around the art block and we want to do it uh, because we want to get as much boxes so that we can put in more words into it so that students can construct more sentence from it. So 30 boxes would be the ideal number for it. So we have to go one, two, three, around that. I'm just going to scribble this to just show you how it works. Now, I have my board game ready here. I'm going to show it to you. Here you go. If you have extra time in your hand, all you have to do is get it printed out nicely so that it looks presentable. Now, my board game is ready here and I've also given a name for it, which is Senko, which means sentence construction board game. Now, how do we play this game? It's very easy. To play this game, you need to play rock, paper, scissors instead of using dice. If she wins, she gets to move one step. And she has to write the word on this paper. As you can see here, it's verb is a run. A run is a verb and tempo is a noun. If she if she did if she like sentence correct, she she gets to stay at her place. So that's it, people. A very simple activity where your students have to play the game throughout and see who's the winner. The first one who wins until the last box would be the winner. This is limited to your own creativity. Improvise it and tell me in the comment section how you did it in your classroom. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. See you again on my next video. Bye-bye.